Welcome back to our channel, where the fanciest masterpieces in the world are being exposed to the top notcher. In today's video, we're gonna get into the mansion of fine art with the top 10 most expensive artworks in the world. Let's find out! The first name in the 10th spot on our list goes to a masterpiece by Roy Lichtenstein, which was sold in 2017 for $165 million. This artwork might take you aback because it's totally different from the rest on this list. Roy Lichtenstein's pop art painting features Ben Day dots and narrative material wrapped in comic book speech bubbles. It is not oil on canvas, but overlaps acrylic and silkscreen ink on canvas. And as you can see, it takes inspiration from old comic book illustrations. The painting was taken with $165 million in 2017, from Agnes Gund by an art collector Stephen A. Cohen. In the ninth spot, let's give it up to the sexy new couché, Reclining Nude, by Amadeo Modigliani. This oil on canvas work was painted in 1917. It is one of a series of reclining nude portraits inspired by Renaissance artwork. One of Modigliani's best known works and one of the most expensive paintings ever purchased. In 2015, the ownership of this masterpiece belonged to Chinese billionaire investor and art collector Louis Yaquan for $170 million. Les Femmes d'Alger version O by Pablo Picasso lies in the eighth spot on our list. Les Femmes d'Alger or Women of Algiers in English. This is a series of 15 paintings and numerous drawings by the Spanish artist Pablo Picasso. Picasso started to create these artworks in 1954, and this is one of his most important and extraordinary series of works. Les Femmes d'Alger version O was the last of 15 oil on canvas works in the series. The version O was a tribute to his close friend Henri Matisse, and claimed to be inspired by a painting called The Women of Algiers in their apartment by Eugène Delacroix. The painting by Pablo Picasso was sold by Christie's New York in 2015 for $179 million. Rumor has it the former Prime Minister of Qatar, Hamad bin Jassim bin Jabbar Thani, was the one who spent millions of dollars to own this artwork. Number 7. Pendant Portraits of Merdan Solmans and Open Carpet by Rembrandt. These full-length wedding portraits were painted in 1634, and it is believed by art historians and experts that these two artworks should be displayed together as a match made in heaven. The infamous Rothschild family sold the portraits of Merdan Solmans and Portrait of Open Carpet from their private collection in 2015. The Louvre and the Rijksmuseum split the $180 million bill and purchased both portraits. Both museums shake hands to take turns displaying two of the most expensive paintings ever. So they are never separated. Next, we have number 6. Violet, Green and Red by Mark Rothko in 6th place. It was sold for $186 million in 2014 in a private sale. This is a painting by the Latvian-American abstract expressionist, and it was completed in 1951. The painting is one of the works implicated in the infamous Bouvier affair. It was privately bought for $186 million by Dmitry Rybolovlev in 2014. Rybolovlev is thought to have bought the painting via the Swiss dealer Bouvier. Rybolovlev insisted that Bouvier was a fraud and stole hundreds of millions of dollars from him by overpricing expensive paintings. Let's land in fifth place, which is number 17A by Jackson Pollock. The painting in 2015 was owned by Kenneth C. Griffin with $200 million when he wanted to add it to his private collection alongside Interchange. Number 17A is an abstract expressionist painting. This was created from 1948 by using liquid synthetic resin paints. The yellow paint dripped on the canvas is a perfect example of Pollock's drip painting method. The fourth spot in our list today belongs to Nafiafa Aipoipo by Paul Gauguin. This oil on canvas portrait was created by Paul Gauguin more than a century ago, in 1891. When will you marry? is the translation of its name in English. The painting portrays two young ladies sitting on a backdrop of golds, blues and greens. 
Even though there has not been any confirmation of its purchase, it is assumed to having been purchased in 2015 for $229 million by the royal family of Qatar. The third runner-up goes to Card Players by Paul Cézanne. Did you know that Card Players was one of the most expensive paintings ever sold before the appearance of the record breaker? Interchange by Willem de Kooning. This is a series of five oil paintings in different sizes, the number of players, and the setting in which the game takes place. This artwork was eventually sold to the royal family of Qatar for $250 million in a private sale in Qatar in 2011. The second place goes to Interchange by Willem de Kooning. This canvas painting was created in 1955 and sold in the private sale for an incredible $300 million in 2015. The oil painting reflects a transition in the Kooning's painting technique from women to abstract urban landscapes. Up to now, Interchange has still held the record for the highest price ever paid for a painting in a private sale. Last but not least, the ruler of our list today is Salvatore Mundi by Leonardo da Vinci, being sold for $450 million at Christie's New York in 2017. The Million Buck artwork was created between 1490 and 1500. This is a portrait of Jesus Christ wearing a Renaissance dress with a crystal orb in the left hand and forming the sign of a cross. The painting lies in the first place not because this is the last work of Leonardo. Also, this particular painting is the only one that remained in someone's possession, out of less than 20 of da Vinci's known paintings. So, top-notchers, these are the 10 most expensive artworks ever sold throughout the history of arts. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to know more about every piece behind the glamour masterpiece in the world.